Only a day's journey away now. The ship will dock. It will make the train. The princess, for my people's well-being. <laughs> if I'm honest, kind of hate to see her go. She's got spunk, that one. She'd make a good pirate. <laughs> ah, but not on my ship. She makes me weak. I, I, I don't think clearly when I'm engaging with her. I left a lab burning for her last night, and I gave her an extra blanket. Now why would I do that? She's my prisoner, my, my bargaining chip. If my men saw their captain behaving in such a way, they would lose all respect for me. No, 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 no. she's got to go. For everyone's sake. Good morning, princess. Sleep well. Ah... Uh, a little better, thanks to the nightline and extra blanket. <laughs> what well, I don't read too much into it. Would have done that for a dog of mine. Figured I might as well show you the same courtesy. <sighs> Look, we're about a day's journey away from the board. We'll be home by this time tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. I will have men with guns aimed at your head from every direction while I make the exchange. And if anyone makes a move on me, you die. Capiche? Good. You know, you're awfully mouthy for a prisoner. If you were anyone else, I'd have shot you between the eyes already. Lucky for you indeed. Do you have no fear? Do you not know the legends about me? No. And you don't care to know. Princess, you're not playing nice. And it is starting to chafe my nerves. And the thing, I, I left you a bloody lamp burning last night. I gave you blankets. You owe me a little respect. Oh, I see. A lamp and a blanket doesn't erase kidnapping. <laughs> Fine, if you're going to keep score. So petty. What the? Shit. Something's happening up on deck. I'll be back. Don't try anything stupid. What the bloody hell's going on up here? Shit. A cannon's broken loose. We'll get it under control before it knocks holes in my ship. The damage will come out of your eyes. Ah, oh, for God's sakes, let me do it. I'm pinned. Get it off me, you worthless dogs. Uh. Tie it down and make sure it stays that way. Get off me, I'm fine. Who let this happen? Who tied the cannon? Bring him to me. So you bloody tied the cannon, that broke loose, and tore my side open. Oh, it was a mistake, was it? Mistakes are unforgivable on my ship. <laughs> Throw his body to the sharks. And mop up his guns before the sun scorches them and the birds swoop in. Don't touch me, you dogs! I'm perfectly fine. I'm not fine. I'm not. Shit, I'm losing blood. Just hobble below deck, Ben. And don't let them see you weak. Fuck. My ribs are broken. Not good, not good. Bloody son of a bitch. Who let the rookie tie down the cannon anyway? You, princess, can you sew? 
I didn't stun her. Can you sew? Good. I need you to sew me shut. Never mind what bloody happened. Here. Here's a needle and thread. If you try to pull a stun and get free, I'll snap your neck. Understood. Yeah, yeah, shoot's coming off. I can't lift my arms high enough to get my shirt off. Yes, my bloody ribs are broken. Help me, David. You'd better hope she's not a grudge holder, Ben. You're weak, vulnerable. And if she wanted to have a go at you, this would be a chance. <sighs> if you try anything, I'll gut you. Just get my shirt off and fix me. <sighs> ah, don't look so appalled. Haven't you ever seen scars before? Start sewing. God, you don't exactly have a gentle touch, do you? Payback indeed. Woman! I'm not being fussy. You are. You are a terrible news. And a terrible prisoner. You better be a damn good princess. Because that's clearly your only marketable skill. If you must know, the scars are from when I was 12. I was whipped nearly to death for assaulting a royal officer. The officer was collecting the king's taxes on my village, and he uh, tried to have his way with my older sister. I jumped on his bank tried to strangle him. I was just a kid. He flung me to the ground, chained me up, and took me back to the palace to stand trial. <laughs> Damn woman! I swear you're doing that on purpose. <sighs> right. So anyway, there I was, 12 years old, a child, Scared to death. Standing before your father. That's right. Your father. Ooh. I told him exactly what I saw. And I just knew he'd have the officer beheaded and I would go free. Instead, he sent me back out to the village. He had me tied. And my whole family watched as they whipped me with an inch of my life. True hurts, princess. Your father has no mercy. You were raised in a plush, extravagant palace, paid for on the backs of my people. I've got to hand it to him, out of the two of us. He's the better pirate. He's stolen and murdered in greater numbers than I ever will. Oh, aye, yeah. What are you... What are you doing? No, don't touch them. No. What do you mean you had no idea? He's your father. Of course you do. You just didn't care. As long as you got new puppies, ponies, soft pillows, hot meals, everything you ever asked for. Hey. God. You really didn't know, did you? Well, now you do. So maybe now, when you return to the balance, you can do something about it. Power is yours more than mine. Stand up for the weak and powerless. They need you. 
Hey. The bleeding stopped. You. You did well. Thank you. No, I'm not going to untie you. Trust you. Would you trust you? Oh, you would. And what would you do if I untied you, huh? Luke, I don't have cruise ship passengers on my ship. I either have shipmates or I have prisoners. If I untie you, you're going to work up on deck like the rest. Oh, you're fine with that, are you? Tell you what. We'll see how you do. But one wrong move and you're back down here. Understood? Well, I suggest you get moving. There's work to do. I'm in bloody trouble. I'm hurt. Can barely stand up straight. And we dock tomorrow. I've got to make the exchange for the princess. But if there's a fine, I'm a goner. God help me.